Adding a voice thread assignment to encourage interaction within your course is easy. Once you've added instructions for students and the voice thread access link to your course, you'll be able to click into the link if you want to add assignment details or other media such as PowerPoint. Your students will also be able to add or create their voice thread and make comments. Follow the two steps below and you're ready. Step one is to add a student instructions page. So first you're going to go to your Moodle course and turn editing on and then go down to the topic area where you want to place the assignment. So let's do this. So this instructor would like to add an assignment for after students do their virtual tour in module five. Now notice that it says turn editing off so we know it's on. We're going to scroll down and here in module five we see virtual field trips so I'm going to place this assignment at the end of module five and this is where I see add an activity or resource so I'll click on that and in the drop down menu I'm going to scroll down to label and then add so I'm adding a label to this area of the course and I have student instructions ready for you so let's go back to the instructions and it says add a student instructions page and here's the student instructions so it's below assignments and voice thread I'm going to click right here and select all the way down through the access voice thread icon and I'm going to use control plus C on my keyboard so control and then C will copy whatever is selected and the reason I'm doing this is because now I'm going to click back into my Moodle window and here I'm going to use control V on my keyboard to paste and the reason I do this is because you can paste from Word with this little tool on my expanded toolbar but it just tells you to use control V so you can't use your your typical right click copy and paste or there's no copy paste button you could copy but there's no paste so here we go now the instructions are all ready so you can just click save and return to course well that was easy and now Moodle will take you right back to the area where you were working so here's our assignment and voice thread and you as the instructor can look at creating a voice thread and commenting on a voice thread or creating your voiceover and this way you'll know what your students are capable of and then when this is for them when they're ready they can click on the link to access voice thread so you'll see now in our instructions that step two is to add the voice thread access link it says again click on add an activity or resource so we're going to go back to the course and at the bottom of this label we're going to click add an activity or resource and scrolling through this drop down menu again here's external tool and this is what we want to add see it's the same icon in your directions and it kind of looks like a little green puzzle so you'll select that click add and then this time instead of pasting instructions you're going to give the activity a relevant name so let's start with voice thread access EDS 570 virtual field trip presentations which makes it relevant to students the next thing that's important is external tool type we have more than one at uh, Clarkson so scroll down here choose voice thread don't worry about launch URL you can't fill in anything there the launch container though let's pick new window and that will make voice thread open in a new window so students can still be in Moodle if there's directions there that you want them to look at and now you just save and return to course once again and you return to course assignment and voice thread and here you have your voice thread access which when you click on this is going to take you to a new window 
and there'll be instructions there that you can look at and you're ready to go. Good luck.